Oh, hi. You scared the crap out of me. My name's Richard Thorpe, chemical lover and all-round handsome guy. I've been sent by... Grandmaster G! To tell you about acids, bases, and chemical equilibria. So, what are acids and bases? Well, my good friends Bronsted and Lowry define them as proton donators and proton acceptors. Here's my model to show you more. Hi, I'm a Bronsted Lowry acid, <laughs> such as HCl. I'm a proton donor. Hi. <laughs> I'm his proton. Uh. Hello, I'm Bronson Larry Bass, such as Ammonia. <laughs> this is my double bond. Oh, long time. <laughs> now, now we're, we're going, going to be mixed. <laughs> I'm a proton donor. I'm donating you. <laughs> now I have no electrons. <laughs> I've got double bond. I'm in lone pair. Want to share? <sighs> I'm a proton acceptor. Also NH4. You have been accepted. Thanks, guys. Now, we all know some acids and bases are strong, but others are just plain weak. Bussy. <laughs> so, what's the difference? Hi, we're, we're HCl. HCl. I'm Cl, and I'm H. We're a strong, strong acid. acid. That means we're fully ionized in solution. Hello, we're a weak acid, such as ethanoic acid. That means we're only partially ionised in aqueous solution. Thanks, guys. Oh. Now, I know that you know that we need to, to know, yeah, to know the H plus concentration to work out pH. Wait! Explain pH. Thought. No problem, Gra Grandmaster G. For strong as acid, such as concentrated su su sulfuric as acid, we use the general equation pH equals minus log of H plus. This is negative log to the, to the base 10, and this is the H, H plus co concentration. Find the log to the base 10 button on your calculator now. Did you find it? If so, well done. If not, you're an idiot. <laughs> Only kidding. I love you. For strong acids, we use the concentration to be H+. If the concentration is 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, what's the pH? You work it out. <laughs> Did you get a pH of 1? If you did, well done. Weak acids are only partially ionised in, in solution, so to work out H, H plus we use the following e equation. The acid dissociation constant is given by the concentration of H, H plus 
times by the concentration of A A minus divided by the concentration of the of the H A solution. If the K A for ethanoic acid is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed and we have 0.1 molar solution of ethanoic acid. What's the pH? You work it out. Did you get it? Here is what you should, should have done. We assume that H plus is equal to A minus. We write the new equation as Ka is equal to H plus squared divided by HA. Rearrange this to give H plus by, by itself and you get the square root of Ka times the HA concentration. In our case, H plus is, e is equal to 0 0.00133 moles per decimeter cubed. Using our trusty equation, we can work out pH. In our case, the answer is 2.87. Mmm, acidic. To get the pH for our strong base, we still need to know the H plus concentration. So we use the equation H plus is equal to the ionic product of water divided by the concentration of the base. At room temp temperature, the value for K Kw is 10 to the minus 14 moles squared decimeter to the minus 6. They may ask you to identify different P pH curves, but don't, don't worry, I've got it covered. When adding a strong base to a strong acid, the pH at equivalence is about 7. And note how the curve starts at a pH of about 1 and finishes at a pH at, a, at about 12. When you add a strong base to a weak as acid, the pH at equivalence is a bit more than, than the 7. Notice how the curve starts at 3 and finishes at 12. When a weak base is added to a strong acid, the pH at equivalence is a bit less than, than, than 7. Notice how the curve starts at 1 and finishes at 9. When adding a weak base to a weak acid, the pH exchange is very, very gradual. And the pH at equivalence is about 7, but it's quite hard to tell. Generally starts off at 3, finishes at, at 9. Oh, what's, what's, what's this? I wonder, wonder who wrote this? Indicators are really weak organic acids. They are one colour in acidic conditions and another colour in alkali solutions. This means that we can use them to help find the equivalence volume in a, in a titration. Here we can see that phenyl red is the best choice because indicator 2 changes colour outside of the equivalence range. Hi, I'm the indicator phenyl red. My pH range is 6.6 .6 to 8. That means in pHs over 8, I'm red. And in pHs below 6, I'm yellow. We've run out of time, so, so here's my quick quick model of partial pressure in a mixture of gases. Hi, we're three gases in a container. Each of us has a partial pressure. Our partial pressures add up to the total pressure. Oh, hey. You scared the crap out of me. Again. Well, I hope that your your day has been filled with education and wonderment. It sure has for me. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. I, Grandmaster G, bless you. No, no problem, Grand Grandmaster G. Well, it's goodbye from him. And good, good, goodbye. Good, goodbye from you. Goodbye from from you. Yeah. It's like because it's like the way the two Ronnies end because you see my name's Ronak and people probably really get that. Oh, so whoever should do it, just do it again. From no, the start. It's, no, sure. If why can't you just edit it from when he from when he cuts? But, but I can't do that. The, the system just won't let me do it. Come on, we just fifth time's the time charm. No, no, because it's not five, is it? It's seven. Well, well then eight, eight times no, no, the charm. No, 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 because you always do this, Ronak. You no. always do this. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't even like the gas on anyone. Just not even know it.